Welcome back, I'm Marlene, here with some more LA Noir. but just our second day on Advice, and I don't have much to say on the first one even after editing. Honestly, it was a pretty cut and dry case, except for the fact that I am curious how much the newspaper articles you've been reading are going to intertwine with this division. I don't know, I'm curious if we'll meet that psychiatrist who is selling morphine to vets, or even Courtney. But I guess we need to keep playing to find out, so let's just get right into it, yeah? Reefer Madness. Well, <laughs> I guess it's safe to say this one's not going to be about morphine. Can't be having no reefer on the streets you know of LA. Freddie Calhoun. Uh, sure, I? I know. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says get out he's of town. prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's going to cost? Fifty bucks. And the department will front me the fifty. You can put <laughs> in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Uh, yes, sir. Way to piss him off. Oh my God. This guy was willing to ride his Well, we better motor. get to it. We wouldn't want there to be a reefer distribution ring working in this city. Seems like a good use of our time. 50 bucks? Do they think I made of money? Yep. No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's that on nice form. Car. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. <laughs> you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same right. voices in my head as you do, Cole. Wait. Oh, here we go. But before we go, if I recall correctly, we did unlock a new outfit, didn't we? So we're going to definitely be rocking that today. The Hawk Shaw. Ooh, I quite like it. It looks kind of mobster-esque, though. Look at us. Looking good, Paul. All right, let's go. Get in here, Roy. We've got a fucking reefer distribution ring to Get bust. This. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Okay. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? Is there a punchline? No, that's the best part. <laughs> yeah. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls and says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Oh, Mike Lyman's bar, 1024 AM. Hopefully I didn't cut off his <laughs> grand story there. Actually, with that said, Arson is our next division. Maybe we'll meet this lady later on. There's oh, look at the snake. freaking carpets in this That's place. That's in the back, Cole. Bring it out, all that chili. Place is lovely. Freddy. Look at this. You're looking good. Hey, Freddy. You're help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, yeah. right here. 20? I said 20. You want the money or the alternative? <laughs> Tell us oh, about the reefer, Roy. Freddy. Another good mm -hmm. Samaritan. Answer the question. Brass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? It's stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Well, be careful. He likes guns. That's why I get my money. Okay. Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Bro has <laughs> socks in it. Freddy Let's was go visit creepy, this right? That guy? Character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. That's a lot of dope, yeah. Root beers all around, doll. Yeah, I feel like Freddy was a little high on the supply. You know what I'm saying? Let's go meet this Juan Garcia Cruz. You believe his story? Sure. Mm. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. <laughs> you know, got the same impression. This guy clearly will do anything for some cash. All right, there it is. We're finally here. Just a bit of a detour on the way. <laughs> oh, another cute house, Juan Garcia Cruz's house. 101 p.m. accurate. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, he does have guns. Shit, cool, be careful. And Roy too, I guess. Is this guy an idiot? Call for help. I'll find my way in. Oh, we're not gonna need help. 
Uh, be careful. Not cool, man. Should I just shoot him? Subdue. Officers need help at 1452 North Las Holy shit, dude. We need some better guns. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I told you we didn't need any backup. I got this. I'm fucking Cole Phelps, bitches. <laughs> oh, hey, brothers. You gotta stop meeting under these circumstances. Next time I won't be so nice. Yeah. Next time, I'll be over there. Telling you to the fuck on. Oh, already inside. Nice. You guys don't have to leave on this. Overcoats. What happened? Dope peddler Juan Cruz. You open Ooh. fire. And, well, the rest of the story. Look told at itself. it all. Holy shit! Holy shit! I would wager there's more than fifty pounds here. Let's check out the body. Was this Juan? I hope not. Let's uh, look for a wallet. Yeah. Shouldn't have fucking shot at me. What's this? A token? Oh. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Neat. Anything on the face? Nope. Rarely is. Check his hands, I guess. Though I don't imagine what they're to be. Oh, those are some nice hardwood floors though. Look at those. No, okay. I think we're done with the body. You can put that away now, Cole. Nope. I'd take another look if I was you. Oh, <laughs> really, Crowther? Did you tell me how to do my job? I believe you, though. Oh, you can look in the other pocket. There's a wallet. Is this Juan? Yep, Garcia Cruz. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Good observation, Cole. I think you might be right. Thanks, Carruthers. I knew I was missing something. What's this? Mass is this a drug and or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in <laughs> Spanish. Definitely not a word I recognize. Let's keep looking. Oh, yep. Tomato soup. Yeah, right. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers <laughs> living on soup. <laughs> I don't think it's soup there, Roy. I think there's more to these boxes than meets the eye. But I assume we're going to be checking out the Parnell Soup Company. What's this? Ooh. Oh, look at this. We got an artist in our midst. Well, we had an artist in our midst. I don't know what I'm poking at, <laughs> but this is kind of fun. Honestly, pretty cute. Cute little art book. Uh, ammo, yeah. Makes sense. What do we got going on over here? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, let's check out their shed. Do they have chickens? This looks like a coop. Oh, is there something in here? Sugar. Nails? Yeah, that's nothing. No. Oh, flower, yeah. More nails. <laughs> I'm glad we checked that out. I guess we should check all of these. Even if it's a big waste of time, you never know what you're gonna find. Oh, God! Huh! Phelps! You jump like a girl. <laughs> Yeah, I did. How <coughs> embarrassing. I was definitely not prepared for that, man. I was just ready for more nuts. Oh! Oh! oh always the now last place somewhere. you look. This must be where they store the supply. Oh. More soup? And there's the ledger. Parnell's Soup Company. Delivery ledger. Yeah, open that up. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Mm, probably. Uh, weight origin. Lots of EJs. Lots of EJs. <laughs> 50 pounds through $2,000. Damn. Yeah, more EJs. I'm thinking EJ is the pattern. Where does EJ reside? Tijuana. Say EJ. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. And that's what I'm thinking. Dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. There's times? Those fuckers are probably in on it. <laughs> Let's wait and see how this plays out. Okay. Uh, anything else in here? 
Uh, oh, can opener. Are you, I don't want to look at any more cans. Yeah, use the can opener. We already you know what we're going to find in this help? can. Maybe after enjoying what's inside the can, I will be. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory <laughs> sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Uh, I know where we're headed next. Do you want to open all of them? Okay, open another one. Yep, just about what I expected. Okay, we can probably stop looking at this. We found everything we need to see. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? Roy, you know why. Anything else back here? No, it's head inside. One more sweep around the house, and then I guess we'll be on our way to the soup company. Where's the other body in here? Oh, a revolver. Nice. Nothing significant. Very nice. Yeah, I think we found everything we need to find here. More soup. Oh, what's this? Yeah, take a look at that. 20th century market. Parnell's. Canned minestrone soup. Yeah, these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. <laughs> they really wanted to make sure you didn't miss this clue. Did we just get the address from that? Nice. Let's go make a call. If we still can. Oh, no, we can't. I found the address on my own. Look at that. I'm becoming quite a little detective Not over now, here. Folks. All, all right, I'll get out of your way. I guess let's go. Hang on. One thing before we leave. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm not gonna area. be as you polite as this officer leave. over here. Oh, hang on, there's more on the side too. Clear this area immediately. Yeah. Be you guys, big, right? get out of here too. Yeah, keep moving. Okay. To the soup company. Ooh, or the 20th century market. Let's hit up that first. Yeah. Yeah. Crother says the yeah. morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot tempered son of a bitch. 20th Century Market, 1 16 p.m. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Huge savings all the day. Ooh. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 mm -hmm. King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. Okay. Yeah, it's just weed. Cavalry no need to freak should out. be here any minute. <laughs> I guess we're just hanging out here while. Oh, oh, is that a police car? It's driving very strangely. Oh, <laughs> that was very fast. LAPD, nobody move. I'll take my chances. <laughs> Got another one. Let's go. Excuse me. This guy seems kind of slow. Maybe we'll get our first tackle. Nope. I always fucking speed up. Look at him go! Don't kick me. Don't kick me. Give him a second. There you go. Ugh, oh, God. Always onto the roof. <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> I wish there was a way to avoid that. I fucking hate hearing Cole make that noise. I'll take my chances. Yeah, I heard. You're gonna regret it, man. Because your chances against me, well, they ain't good. So I've grown pretty efficient. These fist fights, boy. Yeah. Get in the face. No problem. <laughs> no problem at all. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Is the gun really necessary there, Cole? I don't believe that's it. It's quite a tiny little baggie. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. 
Oh my god, I love it. <sighs> can't take Never change, in. Cole. Take you in. Sorry, be buddy. Glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you, but I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. <laughs> Cole is fucking pissed here. Oh my god. Oh, another silver dollar? I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. Yeah. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? So you got some good information first, buddy. What do we got here? Sanchez Erto, Mexican. Tijuana address. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Tijuana. And a couple bucks. Well, we'll just leave that in there. Yeah. Tuck that back in. All right. What kind of information Here's you got, buddy? Deal, you give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. You best be honest, buddy. Yeah, knowledge of EJ. Give me EJ. This guy the might be EJ, right? The shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. Fellow. Okay. That's all I do. I don't know. I don't believe that even for a second. Let's check our evidence. Need a refresher. Tijuana dope shipments, 50 pounds. Regularly from Tijuana. I'm thinking... Doubt? Start talking, Erto. I Ooh. want the names of everyone involved. Ooh. It was probably a lie. What difference does it make what I tell you? I'm still going to jail, no? <laughs> Just fucking be honest this. with me, guy. I'm obviously not on my game today. <laughs> Hardell's soup shit. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. Definitely lying, obviously. Okay, probably a lie. And probably the soup cans containing marijuana, as we know. Yeah, let's go with lie. Oh, I'm I not think feeling you're good the about this, though. The Mexican side. I think you're more than you like to make out. Agreed. So I'm the big man in this? Not the big man. Just one of the middlemen. Yeah. Soup cans. Full of marijuana. I have big God tables. damn! I want to make enough to bring my family over. Don't stand in my way, policeman. Well, that was mildly threatening, <laughs> and I jail, fucking Erto. suck. <laughs> Our jail's maybe nicer than what you could expect in Mexico, but I could tie you up in red tape for years. Yeah, you probably should have just told me what the fuck was going on, man. Now let me fuck up both questions. Because <laughs> now you're screwed. Alright, I guess we're heading over to the soup company now. Hopefully I do better there. Because, damn. That was not good. Location. Again, Parnell's a soup co factory. Let's do it. Oh, I'm not feeling good about this one. <laughs> Can't believe I got both of them wrong. I was having such a good few days, too. I think last one I only screwed up one. Oh well. That's fine. As long as you don't fail, it's fine. Parnell's a soup factory, 142 p.m. That's a pretty sweet looking factory. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. <laughs> Good one, Roy. LAPD. Hi there. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't Thank mind, you. we'll come with you. If you yeah. must. Got a feeling he's gonna <laughs> make a break for it if you don't. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must Roy. apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. <laughs> Projection rest, much Roy. there, Roy? Yeah. I'm happily married, man. You could show Thank these you. men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, oh, this gentlemen. Oh, we do. Oh, what is going on? Here. This is amazing. LAPD. I like Sit tight, fatso. <laughs> I you love could be this in office. very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sure. sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, 
Can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was very slick there, Cole. Uh, yeah, let's check this out. See if we can see any recognizable any names. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Uh, I don't know yet. George Garcia Cruz. Um, can I check my evidence real quick? <laughs> One second. I want to look at my evidence. Shit. <laughs> Alright, give me a few seconds here to really think this over. I'm feeling like it's George or Jorge Garcia Cruz. The name is just too similar. But I can't remember the address. This is familiar. 1452 yeah, North Los Palmas. A uh, Jorge Garcia Cruz. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? I guess so. Well, I think I got it right. Awesome. <laughs> Good. I needed to get a win <laughs> after the last interrogation. About your soup company, How man. Are your sales, Mr. Parnell. Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. Yeah. So I hope you're both big soup eaters. Not the kind of soup you sell, sir. I'm a straight edge man. Uh, he looks really sad. Frick, man, I'm not feeling too confident myself today. Is this where you bring up the soup cans? How are your sales? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. Well, I mean, uh, truth, I'm sure they're doing fantastic with their new era of prosperity. Interesting phrasing. Uh, doubt? Mr. Parnell, yes. do you know what kind of trouble you. you're in? Come clean with us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You mm -hmm. know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. It's a good soup. A very good soup. Uh, factory sealed soup cans. What gives? The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. Yeah. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. If you know nothing about it, then how come you want it stopped? I don't believe he knows nothing about it. Oh, he's given us quite a stare. But I don't believe him. Oh, he, he just looked down, you see that? Hmm. Doubt again? I don't know. Let me check the log again. I know nothing about this. I want to stop as much as you do. How do we still... He knows. Of course he knows. Let's check our evidence once more. I bet you the Tijuana shipments was the evidence we needed in the last... <laughs> ...questioning. I don't know. Doubt again. Tell me what I want to know, yes. Parnell, oh. I will have half the LAPD yeah. down here tearing this place apart. Yeah. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. <laughs> the truth is, I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Yeah. Pay more and you'll get people, buddy. All right, knowledge of Cruz brothers. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Yeah, I feel like Not all their family members of. might have been working for you. He's a brother yeah. employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Come on, man. Break eye contact. I'm ready to doubt again. He might... Oh, he's looking down a little bit. He might be being honest here, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like doubt again, but ugh. I don't know. I always feel wrong when it's the same the same option each time. As much as I love to doubt, <laughs> I feel like I can overdo it. Doubt. That's funny. Oh. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Yeah. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. 
There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. <laughs> yeah, let's hear more about this inside man, Jorge. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Mm. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Okay. On the conveyor belt and cookers. I think he's being honest here. I mean, that's exactly the information we wanted, but what if he's lying to us? Let's watch him for a minute. So far, he's got the, the eyes of an honest, honest man in this moment. Yeah, pretty sure he's lying about not knowing the last name, but I think he ended up giving us the information we needed here on the daily maintenance on conveyor belts and cookers. And honestly, I don't even care. I just want to talk to the guy. I'm going to go with Truth. So he's here now? Yeah. No, maybe it's at night. Okay. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. Okay. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. Yes, please. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around <laughs> myself. You know what? This guy isn't too bad. I don't think I hate he actually knew about made. the whole weed situation. It'd be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd have the same reaction. Oh, look at it in there. Oh. Yeah, I think this guy was just nervous about the whole employing illegals thing. a lot of employees down here. Oh, there they are. This is where the produce comes in. Okay. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. That's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> are we just following him? Or are we just getting a grand tour? Can I look around? That will just, we'll stick with him. Why don't you keep quiet? I've learned something. Oh, good God. This really <laughs> is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. Yeah, the suit is made. Honestly, I'd go on this field trip. This is pretty cool. This is the hopper, which yeah. boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? <laughs> Maybe. The soup is ladled automatically in the can. Ooh, can we see that? I'd like to see I want to see the ladling. Area, if you don't mind. Yes, please. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. Okay, fine. We won't check out the ladling. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. Hello, Sergio. These men are from the LA. Sergio hey, here we... reports our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. Okay. Read me loud and clear here. So you're in charge of deliveries there, boy? Let's check out these deliveries. For repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Mm hmm 20 boxes, holes. I'm thinking of this 20th century market. Yeah, duh. We've already been there though. I bet you if I came here first, I would have had an easier time with that questioning probably but clearly that's that's the one yeah 20th century What's market going on, Parnell? there's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of marines yeah interesting. what are you talking about you know exactly what i'm talking about can we talk to this guy can i have a look at that coin sure why not oh is it a silver dollar well, yes yes it is silver dollar right yeah that's right the markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it brings me luck. I'm not sure I'm liking the way this guy is speaking to me and looking at me. Hey, about the factory sealed soup cans. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Oh, he is a lion. 
freaked out. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. And then still does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. Okay, Jorge. Okay. sent all over the country. Okay. We're getting somewhere with this one. Uh, 20th Century Market. What do you know about the 20th Century Market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. You know what? I believe him here. I believe him. Truth. We just want to Damn talk it. to Juan, Sergio. You sure you couldn't tell us it's where never we could truth. find him? It's never truth. I never heard of a man. Damn it. Oh, that would have been a good one to get right. Now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. Didn't care for that guy. We will be in touch, oh. Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. Appreciate You're it. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? As long as you cooperate, man. Fat, so we're going to let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. <laughs> well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. <sighs> uh, I don't know how I feel so far on this one. I'm not feeling that great. Not that great. Ooh, Parnell's Seco Factory, 10 p.m. Oh, it looks like a stakeout. Gonna see. Freddie said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think mm -hmm. this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. That's kind of what he implied. Local distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Ooh, are we gonna tail him? Well, I bet that's Jorge right there. Who's the other guy? Let him unload the goods first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, let's get him. All right. Oh, hang on. Oh, we gave them the signal. I get ya. Clever. All police vehicles are equipped with. Oh, right. Let's check out what we can find in one of these right, cruiser's move. trunks. Move. Yeah, on it. On it. Let's go. Well, I guess things better than a pistol for once. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to go in prepared this time. Oh, baby. Is that a Tommy gun? Yes, please. Let's go. Everyone into position. Uh, what's my position? Am I just okay, going in? Yeah, LAPD, let's do it. Put your hands where we can see them. Reinforcements are the way. See them. Ah. <gasps> oh my god. Willy, the first freaking bullet I shoot, this fucking guy just runs right in front of it. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is why I can never five star mission. Everyone let's do this position. again. Got your Maybe don't be an idiot. Oh, he died anyway. Oh, I like this gun. This is fun. Hey, Roy. <laughs> I am. Oh, this is so much better than a pistol. So much better. Let's move up. Move it up. How long do you think you can hold out? Throw it at me. Oh, there he is. I see him. Going up. Well, that's kind of on you, man. Oh, 
Ooh, oil. kept her hat on and everything. Beautiful. Yeah, we did pretty good, Roy. Right? Make a good team. I may not do great at questioning, but I can do well with a trigger. Sometimes. Not all the time. Detectives! Yeah. Found something here you probably want to see. Oh. Do you show me. Uh. Yeah, it's just more boxes of soup. Wait, hang on. This? Oh, another silver dollar in his hand, I think. Looks like. This is Jorge, I assume. I guess we'll find out. I see his wallet in his pocket there. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. No. Yeah, no need to check that. Can I already tell you that? Check the wallets. Horrors. Oh. Tijuana. Address. Tijuana. We should see what the Federales have on him. Ernesto. What we got here? The Sea of Grass. Interesting name. United Artists. <laughs> I wonder what that's about. I guess it's nothing, though. I think that's it? Is that what you wanted to show us, officer? God damn. Oops. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take oh, a look yeah. in these boxes. Will do. Oh, there's fucking boxes everywhere. What box is he talking about, Roy? Over here? No. All right here? Oh, yeah. Is this they're unloading from the truck? Oh, <laughs> box of marijuana shipment. Pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? Uh, it yes. certainly does. Yes, it does. He's here? We didn't shoot him? Oh, right here. Shit, yeah, we did get him. What's in his hand? Ooh, lots of money. Oh, a little better than a silver dollar. A thousand dollars here. No, Roy. Cannot take 50. Got a wallet? Put that down. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yet another silver Jorge's. dollar. Phelps, Earl. Mm hmm. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all Submit. about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, <laughs> so matter of fact, I picked it up for safekeeping. I knew he would. The department owes me fifty. Ray. Yep. I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Okay. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. Okay. There are oh, did we miss one? Each coin, along with not legal this tender. One. What does it mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the twenties. They were removed Looks from like circulation and sent for disposal. Oh. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Maybe. Oh, maybe I didn't miss one. Uh, what was that word that we saw on the notepad? I don't remember. I think this is the first one. No. Oh, this might take me a minute. Yes, this is a challenge. I don't actually know. Oh, okay. There, I see how you can work it out. Look at the top. No longer. These two go together. Yes, okay. The first coin, <laughs> M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. I don't know the what it means. K metals. Oh, same A metal metals. foundry. Okay. Would you like the address? I would. Whatever. <laughs> 1034 <laughs> Vine cute. Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't been doing too well at that today. Yeah, I only figured that out based on lighting up the no longer circulation part of the stamp. The rest of it still makes no sense to me. Uh, let's head on out. See you, brothers. To Masenke Metals. Was that what was written on that piece of paper? Yeah, Masenke. That makes sense. 
I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? <laughs> Honestly, I don't mind. Just cut a guy in. I'm working hard, too. Uh, this place looks like shit. Let's burn down. Mazen K Metal Warehouse, 10.30 p.m. Locked. We need another way in. Yeah. I don't know what we'll find in here. Can we just drive the car through the gate? <laughs> I think that's what it wants me to do. Uh, this will be fun. This car Damn cost it. me a fortune, you moron. We gotta get in though, Roy. Alright, let's see if we can drive around. Maybe we can get in from behind. Christ oh. alive, this is a nightmare. Uh, agreed. Let's check the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks pretty gated up. Maybe back here? Oh, this, this is looking promising. Let's get out and check. This place looks like shit. Uh, damn, it is gated up good. Oh, here we go. I bet this is- hi there! Oh, nice box. Wish I had some soup to give him. <laughs> uh, are we just. Oh, here we go. Another pipe right here. Perfect. That wasn't so bad. Oh, <laughs> that was only obstacle number one. How do we get inside the building? Oh, oh, there's people in there playing poker, I think. I'm taking my money and going home. And fuck who's going to the back door, Roy. Hey, what can I say? I got lucky. Bullshit. You're cheating. And I'm going to catch you at it before the night is out. Not deep. Hey, reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. That's one more in there. Go. Go, oh, God. Oh, not my hat, you fucker! I was doing so good with my hat today. God damn it. Uh, oh, there's more? Is there more? Yeah, pick up weapons. Why not? Is there more? What's going on over here? Uh, I guess let's keep looking around. Where's Roy? Okay, we're going up. Throw out the guns! Where are they? I'm scared. In here? Nope. Oh god. Oh god. Got him. Oh god. Ah. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, it's fine. You're okay, Cole. This place is a freaking labyrinth of little mini offices. Oh, there he is. Get fucked. Shoot at me. What's on the table there? Oh, interesting. Is there more of them? Where the fuck is Roy? I could use some damn help. Oh, there's more weed. It's everywhere here. What a strange layout to a building. Oh, it's another floor. Are you kidding me? Yeah, get it! Get it! Your turn! Yeah, that's... Oh, there's more, there's more. Oh god! Don't shoot me! Oh god, we gotta reload. I could use a partner over here. Damn, let me do this all by myself! What the fuck? Okay, finally, damn. Yeah, nice suit. Victor Sanders. Pinstripe, always nice. I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for yeah. many years. You're under that arrest. Doesn't surprise me. Am I? Yeah. The 
Commission. We have a yes. mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible Roy? becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Here to explain? I assume he was telling just some pretty important people. <laughs> Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. Mm -hmm. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope <laughs> ring. In a home. Reefer is All almost a as work. big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, okay. Lieutenant? <laughs> sure. Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Mm -hmm. Phelps, we are celebrating Somehow your success. It. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Damn, man. A lot of these cases feel like a real kick in the balls. Oh, got another flashback. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Asakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. Aww. Look at this. Sheldon's the man. <laughs> Well done, man. I didn't oh. go out there to save him. What put him out of his say, misery. Man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem Morphine? with that? Murder, Corman. Wait. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get Whoa. this madman out of my sight! You know, is he really that crazy? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, honestly, I might do the same if I were in his position. <laughs> hey, we got tons of accomplishments this, <laughs> this go around. Definitely didn't do too hot on the case report. <laughs> Three star. <laughs> God damn it. I'm never gonna five star one again. Sanchez is a family man and would have ratted out, out his boss if he saw the evidence stacking against him. Definitely fucked that one up. Pretty sure maybe it would have gone better more easily had we gone to the soup place first. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. I have a habit of going in the wrong order, but that's for sure. But that's fine. We still caught the guy, even though I'm, I'm fairly certain He's not gonna have face any justice or go to trial at all. I'm assuming whoever he was selling to, whoever his clients were, were pretty important people. Politicians, maybe. Celebrities, perhaps. Police chiefs, uh, likely. All of the above, probably. <laughs> but whatever, we did our job. We got to the bottom of it. Man, so many of these cases end with such disappointment and goddamn, I can't even imagine being a real police officer having to see the type of shit that gets let off for whatever reason, I bet you it would drive you crazy. But you know what? Again, that's what I enjoy about this game. It's realistic. That shit does happen, as I've said before, and I'll probably say it again in future cases. <laughs> as always, let me know what you thought in the comments below. And thank you so much for joining me for this one. I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a like. If you want to join me for the next case, subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.